Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMac.com and today we're going to show you how to create a bootable disk with a program, free program called Rufus. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is download Rufus. Uh, you can do so really easily by just googling Rufus or you can head to uh, rufus.akeo.ie uh, Once you arrive on the page you'll just want to scroll down and download the latest version of Rufus and at the time of this recording it's 2.8 so you just want to click that and the download should begin automatically once you do that just head through the setup wizard and it's a really quick process and should be set up in seconds really uh, next you want to op you'll want to open the program if it doesn't open automatically uh, and you'll want to plug your USB drive in which we are going to do right now It'll automatically recognize it here. Uh, if you have multiple USB discs plugged in, you can head on this drop down and select which one you want to use. Uh, you can leave everything as default here, that's fine. Uh, the only thing really that you need to change or even want to change for just for clarity is the uh, volume label. I'm just going to call it Patriot Memory Stick Ubuntu. Um, now, the most important part is this. Uh, option right here create a bootable disk using this option you'll want to make sure that's selected and in my case I'm going to go down to ISO image press the little button next to it find the ISO image on our computer and open it it'll take just a minute to initialize here yep. and then you want to press start you want to click the uh, right in ISO image mode the recommended option it's okay and it's also important to note that all data you have on your USB stick is going to be destroyed during this process. So anything you want to save, you want to copy over to your computer or to some cloud storage. Uh, and then you'll just press OK, and I'll go through the process of making a bootable USB disk. Uh, it could take a couple of minutes depending on what uh, computer you have, and really your mileage is going to vary. Um, <clears throat> but that's really all there is to it. Uh, once it finishes this, you'll be able to uh, keep the uh, USB stick plugged into your computer, restart it, uh, and select in the uh, boot menu to boot from the USB stick. And that way you can install an operating system like Ubuntu or uh, Linux Mint right off the UB USB stick. Uh, should be finished here in a minute. Copying the ISO files over to it. Uh, like I said, it does take a couple of minutes depending on uh, what machine you have. I'm actually not used to it taking this long on my computer. But. And there it goes. Now you can see it doing all the work down here. And now it's finished. Now you're ready to go. Uh, so you just close the program. Uh, if you open your file explorer and go to the USB disk here, uh, it'll have all the uh, boot files here ready for you to install the new operating system. And that's all there is to it. Uh, for more great videos, be sure to head over our, to our YouTube channel. We've got uh, plenty of great content over there. We recently did a overview on a uh, the new version of Vivaldi, a new browser by the uh, former owners of, uh, of uh, Oprah. And for a more detailed article, you can just click the link in the description where we take you step by step. I've been Brad with PCMac.com, and until next time, thanks.